Hi guys, Gunchimp here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough Skyrim on the Xbox 360. The uh, last couple of episodes haven't really been that action packed to be fair, but it's stuff we've got to get through. It's on my to-do list for a while now. So mainly what we've done is we've crafted some more, uh, some new alchemy gear, which improved our potions 22% uh, better. Um, we then crafted a lot of potions. We made alchemy legendary and we crafted it up again to 80 so basically we're more or less back where we were before um, as far as potions are concerned and what I'm going to do this episode is basically hit up all the traders and try and sell off as much stuff as possible um, so first things first I mean our gold is 2,917 which isn't brilliant and there's quite a few um, master trainers that I want to I want to activate One's uh, Hamal, who's in um, Markarth in the Temple of Debella. She's got a quest for us to do. And she's a master enchanter, enchantment training, so she can get us up to 90. Um, and the other one is a guy who I can never remember his name, who's part of the Thieves Guild in Riften. And he's an archery trainer, so he can get archery up to 90. Because what I want to do is try and get archery up to 100. Um, get rid of that stupid uh, steady aim perk, which slows down time, which I really hate. Um, so my plan is to basically get rid of that and then train back up paying my way uh, with Farandal as we did before then from Farandal we'll move on to Ayela and Ayela onto this guy in the Thieves Guild um, so to do that for now first things first um, I've already west, uh, rested so um, we should have the Thieves Stone in effect and also the well rested bonus which we do excellent um, we're weighted down as hell because I've picked up all the crap uh, not just the potions but all the other crap that we've um, picked up on our travels Nordic bows, uh, Nord weapons, Dwarven weapons, that kind of thing uh, a couple of enchanted stuff that we've learnt the enchantment so that it's not really much use to us uh, but first things first, let's put on our bartering potions and uh, let's crawl on down to the blacksmith we'll start with the with Adriana and then we'll go inside and speak to Ulf and uh, hopefully get about two maybe three thousand gold from them. You're someone who can get things done. I Excellent like yeah we do have the investment perk activated now so we can invest 500 gold in their business let's do Excellent. that. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. <clears throat> It doesn't bother because we're going to get it back anyway. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? And first things first, just have a quick check. So I want to try and find something with one handed on it if I can. So I want to learn that enchantment uh, for something I have in mind later on. It doesn't look like she's got anything. And again, in terms of buying, I'm not actually going to buy any ingots or ore anymore because I know where it is in the world. I can just go and get it. Same with leather. It is quite tempting to just buy it, uh, but it's kind of more fun to, to hunt, <laughs> to be fair. So the only thing I will pick up is silver ore because there's not that many as I know of. And yeah, let's get selling crap. So, um, Actually, no, no. First of all, I'm so stupid. Uh, we need to take a better business beverage so where's that uh fortified barter that's why we made them don't forget got some good people looking to protect yourself or deal some damage <clears throat> get her done let's go inside and crawl our way over to this guy Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We... Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Hmm. I'm going to take that for when I do the transmutation, just so that I uh, regenerate faster. So why not? <clears throat> That's Good. him done, so let's uh, get on to the next place. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need my life. Hello, friend. 
In the market for some hunting supplies? What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Thank you very much for your... Hagraven or Horker, what are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Okay, next. Next we're going to go over to Belithor. So I'm going to cut out the <clears throat> in-between and I'll catch you in there. Okay, so we have in uh, Belthor's store. <clears throat> it's the same deal. Click down a potion, and uh, let's get it done. So you can see that oops, active effects. Um, we have fortified barter twice. So. Everything's for sale, my. And friend. we can invest in his store. So let's do that I'll first. I'll take your money, but I make no promises of a lot. Ah, the sound of clinking coins. Okay. Take a look. Yeah, he's got a bit more gold now, which is always good. Uh, so again, I'm just going to go through what he has and then start selling off our crap. <clears throat> All right, so that's that done. Let's get over to Arcadia. Okay, so here's Arcadia, and looks like all the stuff's respawned, so um, I'm just going to speed up as um, I pick everything up. Pardon me. I have several okay, so we can invest in her uh, company, so we might as well, because it's in our best interest as well. It's only 500 gold, and we'll get it back anyway. Okay, I'll just check if she's got anything useful as well. Okay, well that's her done. Uh, let's get over to... Actually, we could check the stalls. I'm not sure if you can invest in those as well. Okay, basically the market traders didn't have any gold. They had about 50 gold each. It wasn't really worth it. And I couldn't invest with them, so not a problem. Let's go over to this guy. <coughs> and so, actually, before I do anything else, I keep forgetting about the um, barter potions. I've got a lot of steel to shape. God be praised. Well, that was quick, um, and that's pretty much all the traders in uh, White Run taken care of. Um, the mage who is in Dragon's Reach, we've already um, we've already taken all the gold he had. How much gold have we made actually? Nine thousand. Still not enough to to blow any on training just yet. Um, so I'm gonna just quickly go over to Bree's home, try and get my weight down a little bit. Um, probably best idea is to ditch all the armor and the armor and weapons I'll just sell around white run um, because I can crawl around here so I'll get my weight back down to uh, speed traveling levels and um, we'll hit up the where should we go next uh, might as well try Windhelm next alright then guys um, I'll catch you in a second alrighty so here we are in uh, Windhelm what time is it Oops. 9 10 pm, so that's not good. So we need to sleep. We might as well do it anyway to get the well rested bonus. Got 
got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay, we're well, well rested now. So hopefully uh, we have Thief Stone, well rested skill. Um, let's go sell. First things first, so let's try and find the beggar and give her a coin. Because uh, that's help us out a little bit further. She's normally around here. But I've got to be quick, so I don't want to get involved in this side quest just yet. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's that done. So we now also have the... Um, Charity, whatever it's called. Forty-five persuasion. Speech craft has increased ten points for one hour. Gift of charity. So it's always a good idea to give a, a beggar a coin as well. And uh, yeah, let's let's get on with this. So first things first. Click down a potion. Fortified barter. No, here we go. Oh, we can invest in him as well. So might as well. Of course, you want to invest in my business. If you have spare weapons and armor to sell, bring them here. Take a look. Excellent. He actually has an, uh, a one-handed enchantment, so uh, I need that. So I'm going to buy it. A bit expensive, but I don't have a choice. Mm. I think that's everything from him, so let's start selling. Okay, that's him done. Uh, next on the list. No. Nope. Let's see if these traders have anything. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. There's an old saying. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Okay. I think I have to wait an hour because. Townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. Oh, you never noticed that hanging moss? Sweet, that's kind of useful. Come on, get your stall. They call me a war hero. I'm no hero. Just a soldier who didn't want to die. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Mm hmm. If you're looking to get a drink, That's weird. Earth Hall's got warm fires and strong ale. Need something? Ah, there we go. So trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Seven hundred and fifty gold. Okay, definitely worth wasting a potion. Yes. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Have that. That. Have those. That. Let's see what can offload on you. Perfect. Okay, so uh, first thing I want to do, I just noticed as well, I've still got these freaking uh, spell tomes, so let's learn them. Ah, and it turns out we already have oak flesh. Well, that's interesting. Um, so I think that's all the traders that I can remember around this part. So yeah, let's get over to our next port of call, uh, which is Morthal. There's not really that much there in the way of traders. Solitude. I really need to unlock Solitude at some point. Um, that's on our to-do list as well. But for now, uh, let's get over to Markarth and uh, continue our trading run. All right guys, actually this uh, episode is running on uh, quite longer than I thought. So what I'm gonna do, um, we're at 12,000 gold right now and I've got quite a lot of mis miscellaneous crap to get through. 
to sell. Um, and then all that's really left is um, potions. So I'm going to basically repeat this process quite a few times. Um, I'm going to visit, once I finish in Markarth, I'm going to sleep at the inn obviously, give a coin a beggar. So we've got the, um, all the advances that we can possibly have, take a potion. Uh, I'm going to visit Arnleaf, the smith, Hag's Cure. Uh, maybe go see Calthamo, see how much money he's got on him. Um, also pick up Colt's soul gems. Um, I'm probably going to call in on Falion as well and see if we can get some black soul gems from him. Uh, go over to Riften, hit the market up there and do the same thing again, just go around all the traders um, and then basically repeat it until I've sold all these potions. So hopefully just from the last episode, from the potions that we made, um, we'll see how much gold we get from it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do it off camera because it's a bit boring to watch and hopefully uh, this time tomorrow uh, we're gonna, you're going to see me with a heck of a lot of gold, more than I'll know what to do with. Um, but for now guys, thanks for being patient with me, thanks for sticking with me. Um, I know these business style episodes aren't as exciting as the dragon battles and stuff like that, but it's just something that's got to be done if you want to make it in the world of Skyrim. Um, so I hope you learn a lot from the, the you know, the potions I've made. Like I say, anything I do that's important, I will leave it in the um, the descriptions for you. Any special items that I pick up from traders, I'll also note in the description so you know how I got a certain um, spell. For example, we now have Muffle which we can use as an enchantment on boots, for example, which might come in useful when we go to do our next makeover. Uh, but for now, guys, I've waffled on long enough. This has dragged on long enough. So um, all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Take care and peace.